Oh, Philip, I just thought that um, I try to demonstrate recording a PowerPoint presentation using OBS software. Um, I've just got the video of my face is just hooked up to um, a webcam, detachable webcam, and um, I've got a microphone here, which I hope is working, um, and you can hear me correctly. I apologise right now for the fact that my speech is rather indistinct because of my surgery for oral cancer. Um, I tend not to notice it so much when I'm talking, but I've tried playing a few of these back and I do find it is a bit slurred at times and a bit unrecognisable. Um, but basically what I've done is to, I've got my own a PowerPoint presentation that I did for a, a camera group that I am a member of and I thought possibly I would just demonstrate going through that. So basically with OBS you create scenes. This particular scene is one where I'm looking directly at the camera and um, I've got a video, a YouTube video of travelling through space behind me supposedly anyway. And uh, just for a bit of decor, I've got a green screen behind me um, and I'm using chroma key to remove the the background otherwise so that the video plays. But just I'm a detached so I would have had it bigger, the image of myself, but my green screen is too narrow. And if I make the image more widescreen, you can see more of me. It shot you, you can then see past the, the green screen. It doesn't work very well. So that's why I'm doing that. Now, if I was doing this as a, um, a PowerPoint presentation, I, I would now next go on to maybe this, where I've got my PowerPoint presentation in front of me. And um, I can just run through the slides. So I'll just let you know, let me have a slideshow. Let me have a proper slideshow. I can see it over there while I'm recording it. Um, this is just um, the difference between a DSLR camera and a mirrorless camera. And I then moved on to the different types of sensors that are available. CCDs are unusual, um, they're mostly used for astronomy. Um, CMOS image sensors are much more common, virtually every camera uses those. And then we've got different sensor sizes. <coughs> and. Um, we go on to looking at what pixel is. Now if I don't like the look at my face on this video, I can make myself disappear. And that doesn't then that doesn't matter where I'm looking. And I can just talk my way through the um the rest of the video um and explain how for instance a back illuminated sensor works on my Nikon Z7. Um the image exposure triangles, ISO invariants First things like the type of processes you get in cameras, noise in image sensors, and so as how you get shot noise, um, and so forth. Now, if we then go back to me with the inset on top, I can turn off. I think I made myself look semi transparent. I was probably messing with some of the presets. Um, and um, we will perhaps carry on with a video like this. Um, looking at various aspects of photography and then whereas I was coming to the end of the presentation I might um, fade back to this scene of me travelling through space uh, I wish um, but I thought I won't say it was easy to do using OBS but it wasn't particularly difficult um, once you get over the initial um, learning curve which isn't phenomenally steep if you look at some of the videos on YouTube about how to use it. So what I'll do is I'll stop backing now and I'll finish recording this and um, I'll put it up on YouTube and send you a link so and a bit of an explanation so you can see what I've been doing.